How are you doing, guys? So just explain really quickly about running. Um, you want to get better at running whatever activity. Let's have a look at this Google Sheet. And the best way to look at anything, including your diet, whatever it is, is looking at it like numbers and removing the emotion out of it. So, for example, um, at the moment, you have some time. And over the next six weeks, which is a very short time period, you want to get better at running, say running a 5K. So let's have a look at the numbers. What are you currently doing is the first question you want to ask. So see here in cell A1, what are you currently doing with your time? So here, 0.75 represents 45 minutes. So at the moment, this client is doing online sessions and their minimum standard is around four per week. But on average, they're really getting three per week. So we're going to change these numbers really quickly. They also like to walk and kind of de-stress. It's kind of sporadic, so they do 30 minutes a day. And as well, what they're doing at the moment is they're trying to do two runs per week. So let's recap. What they're doing is they're spending 45 minutes a day. So therefore, two and a quarter hours per week doing um, their gym work. Okay. Second thing that they're doing is they're walking half an hour on these evenings, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So that's a half an hour. That's a total of 1.5 hours of walking that you see here marked in um, red writing. What they're also doing, though, they're doing a half an hour run on Wednesday and Sunday. And they're bombing it when they're doing that run. So therefore, they're exhausted as well. The first thing that you want to do when starting any kind of running program is go by time. Start off with, if you're used to having 30 minutes on your feet, like from the walking, you spend 30 minutes, but not just running. The way you want to do it is 10 minutes of a walk to get warm up, get sweating, a bit of a stretch during those 10 minutes. And then you're simply going to go one minute run, jogging, okay, nice low heart rate, one minute walk, and just keep repeating this. But it always be done at a managed kind of breathing pace. But what should we do? be doing now? So over the next six weeks, you want to run. Let's firstly look at a diary. Can you make these gym training days consistent? Okay. First thing is we're going to make those gym training days consistent. So excellent. But one, one thing I'd like to do is I'd actually like to spread it out a little bit. So we're going to go Monday, Wednesday, and we'll throw in one there on Saturday. The reason that I'm doing that is that we're trying to leave enough time between to allow the body to recover from those gym sessions to be able to do those running sessions. Secondly, where I'm spending my time is I'm actually spending quite a bit of extra time um, walking. Look at the percentages here. 40% of my time is spent over here, is spent on actually my gym training, where 31% spent on walking and just 20% spending on what I'm trying to get better at. I'm not saying that you have to go and run all the time, but rather than walking gently, let's take a couple of these numbers and rejig it. So for example, on Tuesday, I'm going to walk slash run for half an hour there. Then what I'm going to do is going to do the same on Thursday, rest on Friday, and do it on Sunday as well. So therefore, immediately what you can see is 60% of my time is spent doing my strength training. And then here, 40% of my overall activity time is spent doing running. The real percentage we're trying to look at is that we're trying to increase this overall percentage of running. To de-stress on some days, this client might also want to do a walk. But you need to look at that numbers and actually see how much time you're spending trying to get better at that activity. Secondly, what we need to do now is we need to spend some time seeing is it feasible to do my gym sessions for 45 minutes, which realistically is going to take an hour with getting changed, etc. Realistically, is it possible to do a half an hour walk slash run on these days, Tuesdays? Thursdays and Sundays. So look at your overall schedule, do out these formulas and see where you're actually spending your time. See what the numbers come back with. And then you can kind of see, is it actually feasible to hit this goal? Because at the end of the day, if you don't put the time into it, you're not going to get those results.